Hello once again, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It is not April Fool's Day, so hopefully this is Azor Run, which is probably um, a sorry we trolled you, here's an awesome run, run from Edmund. It better be anyway, although knowing Edmund, probably doesn't give a shit, he probably thinks it was uh, hilariously funny to give everybody a run where all the items appear to be randomised uh, and had nothing to do with what we actually picked up, which to be fair, it was. Pretty good joke, I'm a fan of it. Uh, a fool card. But bombs is at least five bombs, so that's a good start. I think I'll keep the fool. Which means we should hold on to two of spades for now to see if we can do anything with it. Uh, probably don't want to go to the... Uh, what am I thinking here? Shop. We don't want to go to the shop because we haven't got any money. Which is usually a good reason not to go to the shop. Although... As far as I understand it, modern society is built on the fact that people will go to the shop even though they don't have any money. Uh, not money, but loans make the world go around. So I am led to... Oh, fuck. Led to understand. That was pretty bad damage. I still have yet to internalise how these sons of a bitches even work. Hopefully we can get one more key. So that we can make our two of spades worthwhile before we leave this floor. Uh, it looks like we can't, so I'm just going to use it now. Also, there is no curse room on this floor, so using the full card is not likely to happen on this floor, however, that would be nice if we had any red HP. There's still a good chance that there will be a curse room on the next floor, we've got Monstro plus adds. That was a bit close. Gotta get used to Azazel, there are many fights in Isaac, although Azazel is pretty OP because he can fly and has this brimstone thing which does a lot of damage, the range on it, as we've talked about before, uh, can leave a lot to be desired. There are many fights where being close to the enemy is actually the last thing you want to do. This one, for example, is up there. If you get too close to enemies like that, it jumps on you, it hurts. The Eternal Heart, which we picked up in that um, self-sacrifice room, is actually very valuable. And we are going as far as Mom's Heart on this run. Thank you for that. don't know where it came from, but I'm pleased to have it. Which means we're going to be doing boss rush if we go fast enough, which I'm going to try to do. Uh, we might as well take all these and feed them to the blood bank for now. And we can get to this curse room for free, so I'm going to do it. And then we'll full card out. It may be a waste of a full card. We could possibly get something better out of it, but... That took its time, didn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, Not the greatest haul from a uh, curse room and in fact kind of makes it worth having used the full card because at least we get we don't have to pay for what we didn't want to pay for which was mostly shit oh, fine I've got four keys at least we just have to make sure key bomb doesn't take any keys that we actually need but uh, why did I take it then well it's not a very good item that much is true Mostly I want to see if we can get the uh, super bum thing going on. Which I've only ever seen once and it wasn't on camera. Uh, I guess we buy this. We don't have a space for item. It's actually a really good item. It could do a lot of damage from across the screen. Which counteracts one of Azazel's main sticking points. Which is the fact that he has horrendous range. In fact, if we do it right... It charges, by the way. Don't know if you've noticed that. The uh, red candle does recharge. So, if we do it right, we can actually get um, get the enemies to walk into it, just like that, by kiting them through it. That's kiting, not kitein. Kitein is the stuff that uh, insectoids will have their shells made out of, and it's uh, that's not a real fire, so don't try and burn it. It's um, probably related to shellac, which is the stuff that they use to make red smarties. True story. Red smarties are made of insects. If you didn't know that, you now do. This is the uh, spider skewing version of the haunt, I believe. Not that we got the opportunity to find out whether we were right. And our eternal heart here, which we got on the last floor, is actually going to help us gain, deal with the devil precedent. Because now, um, we could take both of these, but I, I don't really want either of them. So I'm going to take missing page two, mostly because it is the least annoying. And we did get another eternal heart, which is really, really nice, because now we have our red HP back. We can continue to play blood banks. And I think that blood bank did pay for our um, 
uh, a red candle, which I should probably use once in a while. I think a uh, key burger just nicked my keys. I'm kind of okay with it because you give us a red chest. And this could be one of those things where if you didn't pick up key burger and get this red chest, you maybe you won't get guppy. That assumes there's a guppy item in here, which is maybe a little bit premature. Nope, there are two spirit hearts, which is a lot of survivability. We're doing okay. We've only been hit the one time. On this whole game, we're at four minutes. These red fires are one of the things that Azazel's bad at, to be fair. Uh, we're at f well, five minutes, and we're on the third floor. And I will take that, if you don't mind. There is a, a refractory period. There's a cooldown before Key Beggar actually tries to nick it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're very strong because we're Azazel, but we also have this red candle, which we can use to just... Careful. Chuck fires all over the place and uh, kind of hope that things die as a result, which is working out really well. Um, not everything is kiteable, and in fact the uh, bony there is the sort of thing that you don't want to get close to because they're kind of difficult to dodge when you're too close to them. I was hoping that was a bit of a better shot than it would be. To be fair, any shot that misses you could possibly describe as, I wish that had been better. But in that case, yeah, it was a bit off. Off kill to it. Monstro's tooth doesn't really do anything for us. It cools down Monstro whenever you press the spacebar and it squishes something, which I think could be you, much like the way we lost that cane run a few episodes ago. Uh, not sure though, but mostly I'm a fan of the red candle. It only costs us seven cents, and for 19 cents, we could bank on getting Guppy. Let's see what this is. It's the two of clubs. That's okay, I'll use it straight away. I don't really want to hang on to it. Um, I'm tempted to get Hive Mind just on the off chance that we get some way of producing uh, spiders and uh, flies, but that's not really something you can count on. Also, is Azazel being able to fly. Creep doesn't matter to us. That was a really bad throw. It's okay, really. I mean, Red Candle does recharge reasonably quickly, so we can't be too salty about the... Uh, the misses that I make out of it. Yeah, good. And then this thing has completely failed to hit that fire, even though I would have liked it to. We will take these pills later, because we have them. Oh god. Run away. That was excellent. Krampus did exactly what he wanted to and gave us the thing that we wanted to take, so... Can't be too upset. Balls of Steel is brilliant. I wouldn't even be sad with their health down now. Well, bad trip, I suppose. Range down is a bit sad. Uh, I would like to get one more cent, so let's uh, explode some poops and see if we can... If we can buy Hive Mind, we should buy Hive Mind, because it can turn out to be really, really good for you. And we should even try to maybe find the secret room, which is so often here, I'm surprised I haven't already looked. Button? Button is baddies. Well, we should look in the fires, though. Uh, there's... We didn't get a tears down pill, did we? I don't think so. I seem to have slowed down just because I'm min-maxing again, but look, I've got another eternal heart, so I guess it's kind of worth it. I would like to get a coin. No. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Maybe we can find the super secret room and as a result get that one extra penny that we need. Also, we should check to see if there's a way in the shop of getting the penny. There is not. Ah, uh, that shopkeeper could give us a penny. That's a black heart, though. We're basically at full HP. In fact, we're about to knock that black heart off the top. Ah, you bastard. Maybe I should not have bought what I did buy, but... What's done is done, we'll move on. We don't need Hive Mind, we have nothing that will currently benefit from it. At all. Um, oh, it looks like we actually lost the Spirit Heart before it, so maybe Black Hearts have precedent. I'll probably could be giving these to Key Beggar as well. I didn't go into the Curse Room there because our, we've got a Black Heart at the top. Uh, there's the scent we wanted. Uh, I was hoping to maybe find a uh, secret room instead, so I don't really need that. <laughs> That's a shame. 40 hour energy. Health up. Uh, okay. Guess we take this with us. Yeah, I seem to have started on several tangents at once and then sort of not finished any of them. I do apologise. Uh, let's go back to why I didn't take Hive Mind. Hive Mind is, would have entirely been a future prospects thing. Uh, the only thing Hive Mind could do for us is increase the size of spiders and flies if we ever get spiders and flies, which we would have to actually get, and we haven't got. So, 
Uh, it's not really valuable straight away. But I'm kind of banking on this being an awesome run because yesterday's run was hot trash, although it was good fun. <laughs> like, we all like a prank or two, right? But I'm, I'm assuming that you basically can't lose this one. There's going to be a lot of uh, contention for the hot spot, for the top spot. Now, I don't mean to cast shade on people who uh, may not be, you know, fully skilled up in their Isaac plays. I understand that Isaac is, especially Azazel actually, uh, it's very easy to, once you get the hang of, this, of Azazel, to dismiss it as a sort of an I win character, but it's actually really, really difficult to get the hang of, especially with the range, like that dodge there, kind of didn't deserve to make it, uh, so we guess paid for it, by uh, a following dodge being unmade. That was an excellent throw, if I do say so myself. If you can get as much damage done with these orange fires as you can, you're basically going to have a good time. So I know it's not how the meme goes, but you know it's only a meme because you can adapt it to your will. And at will. Uh, I guess I'm not going to go and get the spirit heart in the curse room, it's not worth it, I think. Secret room? Almost certainly, given the layout of the floor there. And the room is an often a uh, secret room template. So that was a good guess, but a very likely bet. Let's uh, take that thing out. Maggie's bow. What does this do? Well, I'll tell you what it does. It gives you 2 HP. 1 HP. My mistake. I thought it gave you 2 HP, but that's the... Uh... That is the lard. Lard gives you 2 HP. But also, any HP that we now pick up will be worth double what the actual HP is. This is another one of those ones where you really don't want to get close. That's kind of nice, though. We could uh, possibly get something in the future store as a result. Greed is another one where you don't want to get close, but you kind of have to. That was a lucky guess. Don't really want Stud Finder. What does Stud Finder do? It increases the chances that when you explode uh, a rock, that there's a crawl space in there. That was just terrible. Ter Stop taking bad damage. I would like it if I could get over there. There we go. That was a couple of bad hits, but, you know. Take the rough of the smooth. That son of a bitch just came straight at me, though. See that? You've seen a difference in play since we took that minor range downgrade, so now I'm really hoping to get a uh, commensurate range upgrade to uh, I'll compensate for it. I'm trying to avoid these shots, but I can't see them behind my immense bulk. Fuck it. <laughs> it's dead. That's what's important. Uh, I guess we kind of didn't deserve a deal with the devil on that floor, although we didn't... Um, yeah, you can have that. Sure. Speed up. Speed up's nice. Justice card. Might as well pop the justice card now. I'm keeping that key. Alright. Well, still no range upgrade to fix the range downgrade that we had, which as I was mentioning, seems to have been a large part of the difference between the early game and the late game, is that now our range is so bad, we're basically in getting hit space. We're so far up in these enemies' grills that it's impossible not to get hit by them. Especially these ones. Look at this. We have to put this somewhere sensible, because I don't think that we can actually <laughs> hit them from far enough away that we won't get caught in the explosion. Although we do have little Steven to help out, so I guess we should just shoot him with that, right? Oh, we can. Okay. So with with some luck, we can successfully hit these things without completely ruining our own lives, but it's not a risk I'm willing to take on a regular basis. So we'll put this here and then stop shooting. Ah, that's really nice. That was certainly help. But uh, as previously mentioned, bonies are the sort of thing where you don't want to be up in their faces because they're so good a shot. Hello. Uh, Cricket's head is just a very good damage upgrade there, so having that available will somewhat mitigate... I oh, couldn't even see the son of a bitch. Well, he was invisible. I guess that's that's the, the the foible of that particular enemy, is that you can't see them. Can't really complain. Uh, good damage upgrade is Cricket's head, so happy to have picked that up. Because it means we have to be in range less time whilst trying to kill a thing. Although, the amount of time we currently spend in range is so minimal anyway. Really, I can't imagine it's going to do too that that much of a difference to us. This could be good. Range upgrade? I don't think so. 
They seem a little bit faster. We may have lost some damage, but honestly, I think that we're already set for damage. We're so fast as well. I think we've gained a little bit of speed. Did I say that? But it's nice. I feel a little bit slicker. Ooh, yes. Thank you. This will give us... We've seen this before. Way more sacks. Every sack has a chance to be... Um... Oh, there's our secret room. Every sack has a chance to have way more stuff in it than the thing that would have dropped instead of the sack uh, would have dropped in. How did I... Oh, I was trying not to hit that just in case I wanted it for some other reason, but... I mean, how are we going to take red heart damage on this floor? Even with all the dumb damage I have been taking, I still think we're completely incapable of taking any red heart damage on this floor. We're on Necropolis 1. I kind of want to just get out of here, you know? Oh, that was dumb. Find uh, both Peep and the Bloat. Quite difficult enemies to deal with. Especially the Bloat, because you have to know where to stand. And this is the champion Bloat that uh, shoots bombs. Which is even more difficult to deal with. The Bloat, of course, fires brimstone lasers. I didn't give it the chance to fire just now. Uh, but that was way more by luck than judgment, to be honest. Uh, speaking of judgment... We will play this son of a bitch until he gives me something cool. Yeah, like that. Thank you. Um, I don't really want either of these, so I'm not going to take them. Thanks all the same. We've got Roy Rage, which is a speed and range upgrade, I think. Damage upgrade. Speed and damage upgrade. I don't know. Go and look. Just rewind a little bit and remind me what it is. I think it's a speed and damage upgrade. I'm definitely faster. We can afford to explore the rest of this floor, and I think... Um, oh, that wasn't clever. When you can fly over rocks, do so. Um, I think... Oh, yeah, you can have that, actually. We have enough speed to explore the rest of this floor, and I think the exploration bonus will give us a minor... Uh, a minor benefit over everybody else who didn't take the time to explore. Hopefully, we're not going to get cursed with a lot on the next floor. And we do have a cursed room as well, so... We should definitely check this out. Not necessarily worthwhile. But don't forget, now that we've got Sackhead, every room that we explore has a better chance to pay out with way more than it would have if we'd explored it earlier, so... Yeah, it's not too bad. Why have I hold? Why have I held it, did 48 hour energy for all this time? Especially with all the batteries currently on the ground. You may be forgiven for thinking this is kind of a useless pill. It is kind of a useless pill, because our spacebar item recharges during the fight, during an individual room, specifically. Uh, but... If we want to use the candles several... Oh, fuck, great. Okie dokie. If we want to use the candles several times, we now can without waiting for it to recharge. We just pop 48 hour energy. The golden key is nice. Uh, we pop 48 hour energy, we get a couple of batteries on the ground and an immediate recharge, so we can chuck as many candles as we want at an enemy that we find to be particularly egregious. Now, I believe that's not going to be a secret room. I was correct. But we're possibly not for the right reasons. I'm going to let um, Bum uh, Key Beggar take all the keys. Because I can. This could be a secret room. And if it is, it means we don't have to try and use our red HP to get into the boss trap room. I would like to get into the boss trap room, but we can only do it when we have one red HP or less. So the only way it... Oh, this is bad. This is the type that makes explodey flies. I don't like explodey flies. The only way to get one red HP or less... Uh, is to just keep doing this bullshit. <laughs> Frankly. Uh, how are we going to do this? Get over there. Yes, good shot. Um, is... Well, the blood bank, which we've already used. Sell it. That is the wrong beam. To the devil. I guess the only other way, then, is to find another blood bank. Maybe a hematomesis pill? That's an option, too. Also, we're looking out for an AWAS rune. Don't do what you did the other day and use it as soon as you find it, because... That's going to be our ticket through into Sheol and to do an extra... Two of space. Uh, one extra floor that maybe everybody else has somehow avoided doing. That was a good dodge, and I want everybody to recognise how good a dodge that was. I don't know if the battery actually lets me double charge it. It doesn't seem like it does. Two of diamonds. That's 99 cents right there. Okie dokie. This is a really good run, and not just because it's an Azazel run, although you'd be... You, you probably look at it and go, oh, Azazel, you just steamroll every room, right? Well, we did take a range downgrade, which has caused me quite a lot of issues 
in a in a personal way. Emotionally, I suppose you would say. Don't use this fucking card though. I'm keeping the uh, keeping that pill. Don't use a card that stands on you. That's bad times. Second, uh... yeah, cool. The second golden key does nothing, but sometimes I kind of wish it did something. That's no use as well. We're really running. We're going really fast, and that's not because I'm worried about boss rush, although historically I probably should be. But it's because we're really fast, and I can't help it. Which is great, you know. Um, any run where you just end up at the mom fight in plenty of time, with nothing else to do on the floor except for backtrack a fucking mile, which I don't really intend to do right now. Give me the... <laughs> yeah. Careful there. Where's my, uh... Yeah, where's my candle? We need more fire. This is a fire run. We've got a fire spec. We've built the fire. Make there be fire. Right, we can pick either because, of course, we are going only as far as Mom's heart. I guess we take Bumbo because we don't want... Bumbo. Because we don't want the teleporter because we're only going to put it down again. So we might as well because we do have 99 uh, coins. Oh, what is this, though? Both fucking angels at the same time. You're having a laugh. There we go. We did kill one of them just with... Um, just with the black heart, though. So that's pretty cool. Come over here. Through the fires, if you don't mind. That's what they're there for. Not there for the good of your health. Perfect. Thank you very much. I hate this though. Mostly because I can't hide. <laughs> Alright, we've done pretty badly on those first few ones. And to be honest, I'm going to put it down to the um, same old thing. We have no range. I've used my 48 hour energy pill. And I do seem to have used... I picked up a second battery. That was just a really good shot. See, we don't have time to um, to react to things like that, which is a big issue. Big issue. Get your big issue. Um, we have to hope that we're moving in the right direction whenever we avoid these shots. It's turning out to be more difficult than I, I'm making it sound. And I'm hoping I'm making it sound pretty difficult, so... That means to be disingenuous about the whole thing. That was a pretty good, pretty good turn of events, huh? Please with the way that one turned out. This could be a, another difficult one. Right, let's get rid of this one first, because then it won't bug in us whilst we're avoiding this son of a bitch. Think that went okay? Yeah, that's that's going fine. Okay. Just calm down. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Just hang out over the rocks whenever it seems sane to do so. And fire your uh, Stop jumping! You bell end. Fire your candle whenever you feel like you can safely fire the candle without fucking everything up. I'm mildly concerned about this uh, mask of infamy that we've got going on because once we've killed the heart, we can only really use fire to deal with the mask because we're going to have to have such close range on it to do it any other way. But what we can do is sort of troll it, get it over the fire, leave a fire and then troll it onto the fire. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, like that. Yeah, good. Keep doing that. Over here. Come on, then. I'll bite your legs off. Yeah, we beat you. Luckily, they're not too bright. So let's avoid doing any damage to Fistula in this situation, because if we did any damage to Fistula, there'd suddenly be a lot more Fistula whilst we're trying to deal with the Dark One. We managed. We managed. Bumbo, uh, still looking a little bit forlorn. Can't really do anything for us for now, but... We can get a few more coins for Bumbo and a few more keys for Keybagger. Maybe we could have a, a beautiful thing going on. I want to get rid of this, but I don't like the fact that Mega Maw is out there. I'm trying to ruin my life forever. Let's put some fires on Mega Maw and some damage on. Yeah, there we go, that worked. Put these fires out here. What's over here? I want to know <laughs> what was a good time to move. Also, if we can sort of stand on a fire, then anything that jumps will jump onto it. At least that's the hope. Bait, uh, bait Monstro 2 into firing. Get rid of that one. Right, okay. I think we're getting uh, our wings beneath us a little bit more, as it were. Uh, there's a lot less standing in the stupid place and taking stupid damage. 
Oh, although he killed his own things just as I was strafing them. But you can't win them all, is what I'm saying. You can win them all, and we're going to win this one. Don't be so defeatist. Don't split Pestilence. Right, now you can attack Pestilence. Uh, that was uh, that was rough. That was war. That was famine. <laughs> it's one of them. It's one of the seven deadly. Wait, seven deadly horsemen. Where the fuck are you, though? There's no point trying to attack this son of a bitch with fire. If he teleports onto fire, then yeah, more for him. But I'm just gonna hang out until he shows himself. Careful with that thing, though. Grab someone's eye out. This should be a nice, easy fight. We've got war up there, I think, so we need to pay attention to the side of the screen he's coming in on. But mostly, this is a this is a gas bag fight, and that's done. I'm I'm often a fan of getting that particular fight as the first floor boss because it's often easy to do. Just one bomb will deal with it. So this fire thing we've got going on is more than capable of, of ending that particular run. And here's another one. Oh, you're a fucking champion. Whoa, where did you come from, though? That's done. Right. Come over here and jump on this fire and spike at the same time. No, no, no. Not what I asked for. At all. Come over here, then. Wow, you really pulled me in just now. Making some uh, less than optimal errors. But there's so much HP on the ground. This is going to kill everything, so we just need to follow it. And then kill that. So much stuff on the ground. And something just walks into the spikes, I'm sure of it, because it died immediately. I don't even know what it was, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, and you shouldn't either. Just put it out of your mind. We've got Dad's key. Can that do anything for us? No. It can. Oh, hello. Well, I didn't expect that, did I? Or I would have opened it. You fucking dick. Well, thanks for that, I guess. Um, the only thing Dazki usually does for you is to open the Mega Satan fight. Wow, there was a bomb there, and I didn't get hit by it, even though I didn't see it. Um... Yeah, it opens a Mega Satan door, but there isn't going to be one, because we're not going that far. And even if we were going that far, there still wouldn't be one. However, the other thing it usually... Like, the, that's key, basically, if you press the space bar, all the doors in the room open. I don't think it counts for the hush door. It certainly doesn't count for the, uh... For the boss rush door. And there isn't going to be a hush door today. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Get rid of this thing. There isn't going to be a hush fight, which pleases me no end. Question marks is lemon party, which is fine. Uh, we've done bus rush, so that's fine. There's not going to be a mega Satan door to open, so the only doors that can really open. I don't even know if it opens up the boss. Trap room doors. Oh, that was terrible. What's happening here? Use the fucking spacebar item that you spent all that money on. Yeah, good idea. No real spirit hearts turning up for us today. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, you have that. Give me something. Okay. This is the uh, secret room, I'm fairly sure. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone, then. I don't want to be here. Hide. Run away. Get out. Good. We've lost some, uh, we took some red heart damage, so we're unlikely to get a deal with the devil. Stop giving me these fucking troll bombs, though. Right? Am I right? Am I right, though? More of these, please. Temperance. We'll blow it up. I don't care about it. It gave us a coin. That's yours, Bumbo. At some point, Bumbo's going to start pooping bombs, and that's going to be a bit of a, a bad time. Because I'm not going to notice them and then they're going to hurt me. And then I'm going to be sad. And I'm going to say, well, the fuck did I take Bumbo? I thought all of us boss rush for this. You've betrayed me once too many, Bumbo, if that's her real name. Etc. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, a chest. A chest with money in it. And a bomb. That was not the super secret room. You are taking the nick. Very well. We will fight the boss and then continue the floor. I'd like to not ever see this boss ever again. Oh, that worked. 
Okay. Neat. Okay. It's damage as well as HP. Small amount of damage, but really we were looking for range. So, thanks. But, kind of no thanks. Yeah, it looks like the battery, the double charged battery, doesn't actually uh, do anything with our present spacebar item. Like, we can't store a second charge of it. It just doesn't work. More of these is great, though. Magician is not helpful. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, I might play this a little while, see if we can get some... Um... Alright, get some money for Bumbo. Not really what I was thinking of, but... I mean, I, I recognise this is costing me money and therefore points. Honestly, I just like an opportunity to... The more op Ooh, I just realised. Is this now the floor on which we... Um... Teleport. There's another one here. Pop up. I got time for this. On which we uh, try playing the self-sacrifice room. Try teleporting... To shill, uh, to dark room. Temperance card. Temperance. Could give us a blood bag. Am I prepared to try? No. It just occurs to me that because it's giving us... Oh, although now we're at a half hour interval. Oh, we're not because we've got Maggie's bow. Alright, that's okay. We can't be at a half hour interval. It's not possible. Um... I mean, we did recently teleport to the dark room, <clears throat> but we got there with one HP, and that was very bad. I have poor range. <coughs> very poor range, which means that those rooms are going to be that little bit extra difficult. I will play this guy and hope that we get even more HP. We do get even more HP in the t it, as a HP upgrade, but the red hearts are also valuable. Uh, then we will leave it on the ground, on the pedestal. Wow, you're really paying out. I'm liking this. We'll leave it on the pedestal. Oh, we didn't. We got a compass there. I was going to say, we leave it on the pedestal. We go and play the self-sacrifice room for a while. We come back. There's only a few HP on the ground, actually. <clears throat> Although, one HP is two HP, don't forget. So that's two. Yep. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. I have no value. I have no use for it. So you can have those. We still feel blessed, which is nice. Guppy, uh, guppy item is nice. Uh, I don't know whether this is better. We did, we didn't pick up hive mind, although we wanted to, but we uh, did get the opportunity. This is a small room as well, which is not making me happy. Yeah, keep dropping stuff. This is cool. I'm happy with this. So the clubs gives us just a bunch of bombs. Probably wasn't the best time to use it, but I'm going to keep the emperor card. That's not very valuable either. That's one HP. And a spirit heart, which maybe I shouldn't have taken at this stage, but I guess who cares. Uh, run away. Kick this bomb. Over the... That. Kick this bomb. I'm trying to kick the troll bomb. So it doesn't explode near me when it goes off. There we go. I don't want to his head. We want the candle. This is what we want. I'd also like to not have to fight this bastard on this room, but there you go. Can't win them all. And we'll get some more HP. There's one. Uh, I saw some. It's in here. This is two more. Sweet. I think we're going to be okay on HP <clears throat> in order to do this. Uh, fudge. Uh, the dark room stuff. Especially if we keep not using these spirit hearts here. This is really hard. <laughs> you can't get out of the way, you won't stop. Excellent. Alright, so at some point we have to decide that we're gonna pick up all the spirit hearts and go for broke. Which I think is now. So we're gonna take them all, because at any point from now on we could teleport to the dark room. Which is exactly what we're here for. One. One use, so I'm glad I picked up those. That has basically maxim almost maximised the amount of HP we could have. I'm aware that there was an HP uh, a, a red heart on the ground. Further into the uh, further into the floor, over near the boss, if not at the boss. But uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. But just leave me alone. Yeah, that's really good. Blow each other up. I'm fine with that too. Also, Bumbo helping out like a champ. Hot bombs is nice. I don't know whether it's going to help us, but we've, you know, it's it's a bunch more bombs. We should probably use them. 
as I said, respects for fire on uh, on this run. So, guess you can't complain about another source of you know little infernos knocking around the place. Little baby infernos to go with little baby girdies. Oh, hello! Thanks for joining the party, but I don't recall inviting you. It's all the same who, who invited you? Who invited them? At what point do I know the person who invited anybody? Why are these fucking flies all up in my goddamn grill? Can we talk about this? Is that a legitimate thing to ask? I think it is in this situation. Also, it's dark. I recognise that um, Curse of Darkness makes it very difficult to see what's happening on the YouTubes. But, you know, blame Edmund, I guess. I'm not doing anything about it. There's not a lot you can change to avoid the effect of Curse of Darkness. Can you stand in the fire, at least? I didn't make it for my own fucking... I didn't make it for lulls, is what I'm saying. Look. I'll put this here. There you go. One more. No? I managed to avoid that one. Ooh, that was a bombo bomb. A bombo. There's our final HP. Well, right, we're fine now. Obviously, spirit hearts don't count as two. But... I think we've got to the point where we've stopped taking stupid damage from being too close, even though it's very difficult not to take stupid damage from being too close, because you have to be too close. I have no idea how this is going to work. Where's the horsey? There it is. Basically, we have half a second to beat the horsey. Sure, we'll get scatter of bombs, now we've got bombs with bombs in them. The boss is down that way somewhere, so I'm coming up this way. Nope, there is no Mega Satan door, so we can't be beating that jabroni. There was never going to be a hush door, so we couldn't have eaten that particular jabroni. Uh, yeah, just keep eating though. I think you'll pay out with stuff at some point. Wow. Stop walking into the enemy, you absolute idiot. I have no no valid word for myself. I just had to go with idiot. Wow. Okay. Hello? Notice, um... This cancer trinket, which I haven't mentioned at all in the entire game, although I've gone to great pains to keep hold of it, is basically reducing our uh, charge time by half. Or at least by a considerable margin. That was an excellent throw of that. Um, if you don't mind me saying so, because I did it. That was a bloody good throw of that red candle flame. Oh, thank you. $3 bill, that could be fun. I wonder how it uh, works with a tiny little brimstone like this. Ha 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 ha. Go fuck yourself. Just, uh, just troll the shit out of Daddy Longlace in case you didn't notice. Do they leave fires? They do. Our bombs in bombs leave fires. So we've got fires in fires. Oh, dear. <laughs> of course, it helps that many more actual tear effects now, um... Now synergize <laughs> with brimstone, so it's suddenly much more difficult to do anything that I'm supposed to be doing. <sighs> okay, well I'm just going to put bombs everywhere to see if I can find a secret room, even places I obviously don't anticipate it being. Because if I did, I wouldn't have immediately given up on there being a secret room there and try somewhere else. I'm not a fan of this, but I like the fact it keeps walking into the fires. So I think if we didn't have these fires we'd be boned. But because we do, we're basically fine. Also, we have max level Bumbo, which is making us also fine. Man, these secret rooms could literally be anywhere. There's no telltale signs. It's not like there's chasms and stuff on this floor to avoid... No, to prevent there from being a secret room anyway. And it's not even a decently shaped floor. It's just nonsense. It's gone out of its way to just piss me off. Which is the worst sort of person. You should definitely cut those people out of your life. So somewhere there's got to be a secret room, right? I mean, I don't know even if there does have to be, but... I'm working on the assumption there is one of each room. Room secret. Here, then? It's not going to be next to the boss room. That's the only thing I'm sure of. We tried in that room up there. Assume. Yeah, there's still bombs there from when we tried. I'll tell you what though, I am going to try look for it because it could have something awesome in it. Okay. Okay. That's enough of that. I don't care. I'm not playing. You can't make me. I'm going to Emperor card to get there quicker. 
deep. Okay, we'll put the fire on here. I missed it a bit, but that's fine too. Why, why am I glitching so much? Wow, I didn't get hit by that, which is outrageous. And I'll do this room because we can. And it's a bit more exploration bonus and points in general. Excellent. And there is a secret room here. There's a secret room here. There is at least one secret room on this level, so that's nice. Blow it up, get some stuff. It's undefined. Can we do anything with undefined? Got the other secret room, which was here. So there you go. Balls of steel. That's points. Balls of steel. Relax. That's no good. Relax. Well, now we run through and see how many points we earned and where we came in our rankings. That was actually a very enjoyable run, mostly because I didn't die despite taking all of the stupidest damage ever. It did get difficult when I took that range downgrade and never got a compensatory range upgrade. I think everybody else must have done what I did because 270th is basically, you know, it's a, it seems like a normal... Uh, even Doug seems to have done it because 29 to 30,000 is presumably what happens if you do this. Although, I'm wondering whether we could have done it on the next floor. There's Europa at 21, as bloody usual. So we should see what Europa did. In fact, it looks like Europa basically got no damage. Because it's, it's our score, but, you know, plus a bit, right? 7,000. We probably got 7,000's worth of... Uh, <laughs> of, uh, of damage penalty. Well... That was a fun run. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to go and try and beat a keeper run or two. Uh, you've seen how they go down. Uh, but until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you then.